Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Vicky with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with another Let's Talk. And let's talk about the PlayStation 4.5, aka, according to Eurogamer's article, the PlayStation 4K. Let's have a discussion on what we would like to see as the gaming community from a PlayStation 4K. And if this is something that we would even like to see. Go ahead and take the poll you guys see in the video right now to let your opinions be known. Now let's start from my point of view and of course let your own in the comment section below. For PlayStation 4K, what would I actually like to see from this unit? If you guys read the Eurogamer article, they basically separated into three different models. A really powerful PlayStation 4K system that would actually have to cost more than the current PlayStation 4 model, and it would basically alienate some of the current PlayStation 4 users. Meaning some people who are buying PS4s right now, if in seven months Sony goes ahead and puts out a brand new PlayStation 4 4K, some of those users will be upset, and some of the current PlayStation 4 owners would be mad that they spent all this money on the console when it first came out and now this new unit comes out and it has better graphics it runs games at a better frame rate and it costs even more than the original system because it would have probably have to cost up to 500 600 dollars to be able to push games at Uncharted Witcher 3 quality at 4K 30 FPS because even 4K 60 FPS is still hard to do even on current PC hardware without spending over a thousand dollars if not even more. Now the other thing to note about this right if this actually does happen it's gonna split the market for when it comes to developing games. Gamers are not gonna always get the same quality of games depending on the older PlayStation 4 and the newer unit and developers are not gonna have the the leeway that they currently have right now of developing a game for the Xbox One, porting it over to the PS4, or vice versa very easily. Now they would have to think about Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the PlayStation 4K unit. Now the other unit that Eurogamer went and talked about was basically a slim version of the PlayStation 4, which would be more realistic, where it's basically be able to play 4K media, meaning that you'll be able to stream 4K content to your actual PS4 to your 4K TV, and it's going to be able to have HDMI 2.0, which is important for 4K content because the PS4 doesn't have, or I don't think it will have, DisplayPort, which is another way of actually sending video from a system or another PC, and it's going to have HD copyright protection 2.0, 2 or something like that. Technical stuff are in the Eurogame article, but I'm going to give you guys which one of these scenarios I would like to see mostly. And they did actually have another way that they put it in the middle of that where every game would be compatible from the PlayStation 4 that's currently out right now all the way up to this PlayStation 4 Plus that actually has 4K video playback and maybe even Blu-ray playback as well once 4K Blu-ray start getting released later on this year. And then games would actually have the ability to take advantage of the ability to be scaled from 1080p all the way up to 4K. So I hope you guys try to understand what I said right there, but the link in the description to the article from Eurogamer has a lot more details about the technical stuff, but that's basically the three what they have right there. The PlayStation 4 4K, the PlayStation Plus, which is basically the PlayStation 4K Plus, and then basically a PlayStation 4 Slim that has the ability to display media in 4K. All right, that's what's supposedly going to come out later this year or into 2017. What would we want as gamers? What would you want? That's my question to you guys and what I would like I would actually want the middle tier. I want a PS4 that's compatible with every game that has come out and actually has a little bit more graphical boost to be able to run games a little bit better for VRs and for when games come out, maybe they could hit that 1080p 60 more constantly. I'm not saying that games that are already released are gonna suddenly start running at 1080p 60, but games that are already released might run better on this new PlayStation 4 hardware because of the boost. And this new PlayStation 4 is gonna actually probably cost around the same amount of money that the PlayStation 4 sells for right now in the United States, so it probably will be costing about $349.99. I think that's reasonable that they put out a new model called the PlayStation 4 4K or PlayStation 4K, whichever way they title it, and it has Blu-ray 4K playback, Blu-ray streaming, and has a boost in power, and it's compatible for the older titles and newer games that come out on this unit don't suddenly like you know run so much like better that they're in 4k graphics but they just get up res to 4k and this is a native resolution of this console is 4k i hope that makes sense you guys i think that's perfectly fine just this little tiny extra hardware boost is great but it's not something that the developers are gonna have to worry about making a version of the game for the xbox one a version of the game ported to the ps4 and then another upgraded version for the playstation 4k that's going to develop resources 
problems for developers. You don't want developers having issues where now they have to make a PS4 version, a PS4 K version, a PC version, and an Xbox One version. That's gonna split up the market a little too much. But there will be gamers like me who have a 4K TV who prefer to sell our current PlayStation 4 or trade it in. Sony should have some type of program where owners of the PS4 who have bought it since launch could like contact Sony if it hasn't PS4 has never been opened up before. They're able to return the system and for a reasonable price, let's say $100 upgrade to this new PlayStation 4 or 4K. They would need to do something like this so that gamers who have bought the system within the last two, three years have an opportunity to feel happy that, yes, we bought a system, but we can't have an easy upgrade path to the newer generation of the PlayStation 4K. Now, of course, they could just do the PlayStation 4 Slim version, where it's a new PS4 that's slimmer, um, a little bit more energy efficient, and that's perfectly fine. If that's what they do, I have no intention to get in it because my PS4 right now is perfectly fine, other than it's a little bit noisier, and I'm not going to go ahead and buy a new system just to cut down on the noise on my PS4. It's just not that worth it. I know it's a little noisy in some of my videos, but it's only for certain games that it gets that noisy. And I hope that Sony would do a little bit more than just making the PS4 slimmer. I think actually putting a little bit of power into it, but not segregating the market into the PS4K people and the PlayStation 4 people is a good idea. Being able to just play everything that's on PlayStation 4 right now on this new system and everything else that comes out also plays on the new system just might run a little bit better. It's perfectly fine to me. I don't want the scenario that happened right now with the 3DS, the new 3DS, where certain games only run on the new 3DS because some gamers that have bought the PS4 and supported it since launch are going to feel left out. Now, if they do want to go that route and put a lot of power into a PS4 4K, then I just say might as well call it the PlayStation 5. If you're going to go ahead and put a new system out there that's going to be so much more powerful to run games at 4K, 30 FPS, Uncharted level graphics, Witcher 3, all the Batman, the big, really big games, then you might as well just say, hey guys, this is the PlayStation 5. We're going to be putting out systems every three years, and that's what we're planning to do. And we're starting this now because we're going to make these games even better for VR. So that's just my opinion here, guys. Let me know in the comment section below for this let's talk of what you would want to see from a PlayStation 4K. Do you want just a slimmer PlayStation 4? Do you want something that's compatible? Like I said, a PlayStation 4K that's literally just compatible with everything that's out there that just runs game a little bit more stable at 1080p 60. Like most games will just run better at that frame rate. And then if the all the PlayStation 4 just be 1080 30, I think that's fine. But not a PlayStation 4K Ultra where basically all the games are 4K and you can't play those games on the original PlayStation 4. I think that would be kind of sucky. Your opinion matters. Let me know in the comment section below or by taking that video poll in the video. Remember, take the poll. Peace out, guys. Speaking here with the Game Show. If you guys want to support the channel, links are in the description to the Amazon affiliate link. Every time you guys shop on Amazon in the United States, you help support the channel. Or if you guys want to support through Patreon, my link to Patreon is down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more videos later on today. Peace out.